Now we move for lead compensation system. So this is the block diagram for the uncompensated uh, uncompensated system, which consists of gain and plant. For compensated using lead compensator, we add zero and pull that close to origin. If you if you use passive networks from this lead compensator from the ideal non-ideal compensator type. The poles and origin, the pole and zero, are moved to the left, that close to origin, as shown in this figure, where PC is closer to origin compared to ZC. The uncompensated system root locus is shown in the left figure, where point P is assumed to be the dominant pole. If the lead compensator pole and zero are close together, the angular contribution of the compensator to point P is approximately zero degrees. Thus, in the right figure, where the lead compensator ZC and PC have been added, point P is still at approximately the same location on the compensated root locus. Without loss of generality, we demonstrate that this improvement is indeed realized for a type 1 system. So we use velocity static error constant. The um, old velocity static error constant is equal to this formula. K multiplied with all the zeros divided by all the poles in the transfer function, open loop transfer function. For compensated system, the new velocity static error constant shows that the improvement in the compensated system, which is KVN, over the uncompensated system KVO, is equal to the ratio of the magnitude of the compensator zero to the compensator pole. In conclusion, Although the ideal compensator drives the steady state error to zero, a lag compensator with a pole that is not at the origin will improve the uh, static error constant, in this case velocity static error constant, by a factor equal to Zc over Pc.